When it comes to designing a part for metal additive manufacturing, there are a number of design features that disagree with metal 3D printing. Let's explore a few features that can cause manufacturing problems, often cascading through build, part removal, and post-processing. Overhanging surfaces are the worst enemy of a metal SLM process. A part printed completely flat such as this one will require literally thousands of supports just for a disc of 12 centimeters. After the supports are removed, the downward facing surface still has an undesirable rough surface finish similar to 80 grit sandpaper which corresponds to a 1.8 micron RA value. Luckily, the quantum software highlights the regions of our parts hanging below 45 degrees to help us with part orientation and choosing design modifications. Even small overhanging regions will result in poor surface quality. Parts with large contiguous masses are nearly guaranteed to warp noticeably unless countermeasures are implemented. Parts that are built on supports have a tendency to contract in the direction of the center of mass. In this case, the leaning support tips are perfect indicators of the contraction. This part warped enough to pull itself free on the ends. Even a perfectly symmetrical part will warp a noticeable amount if the support structure is not perfected. Since no reliable simulations for the SLM process have matured, perfecting the supports means iterations of building and re-engineering the support structures. Alternatively, parts built directly to the build plate without supports leave more material on the build plate and require more time to machine the plates in preparation for reuse. The ideal case for the machine operators is usually a part with a small footprint that is supported by a few thick supports. When the part has a large overhanging surface, the internal stresses that build up in the part are often enough to sever the connection between the support and the part. If the support connection is increased, the supports become very hard to remove. Strong supports that are densely placed are often impossible to remove without performing ceramic grinding. If the support connection is weakened, the support is easier to remove but it is likely to detach during the build and allow the part to lose its net shape. Secondly, detached supports will fall into the wire EDM bath during the removal of the parts and cause contamination of the purified, deionized water in the EDM machine. Parts that have large masses of supports can take hours of cutting on the wire EDM and it requires technician oversight as the highly interrupted cut often leads to broken EDM wires. Broken wires in this case must be manually restrung. The cutting of the supports also relieves some internal stress which causes the part to move and often break the wire. When the plate spends more time in the wire EDM, it causes rust which must be buffed from the plate later. Rust particles also contaminate the wire EDM machine filters and drastically reduce the lifespan of the filters. Regarding parameter selection, if your parameters vary too far from the parameters developed by the manufacturer, you will end up with poor melting which can create a buildup of unmelted powder and damage the wiper on the machine. A large mass equals a large amount of heat in the case of SLM. If your part has a large mass and not a lot of supports, regardless of overhangs, it will rip off of the supports when the build reaches the timing of heavy heat input. At this time, the section of the part that is already built can curl upwards and can crash the machine, or slowly file away the wiper without setting off any alarm. Lastly, if you create a build that has a very large melting area, it is likely to warp the whole plate and require double the machining to make it reusable. Designing a part for metal additive manufacturing requires a completely different mindset than designing for traditional methods. We hope that all designers take the required time to understand powder bed processes and will be able to save time, save money, and produce successful parts in the SLM environment.